This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more information and for tips and techniques. In this video, we're going to solve a diabolical puzzle, which is the hardest level in this book. And uh, this is puzzle number 100 from Sudoku to Go, volume 98, by Soap Opera Digest. And when we, as we solve this puzzle, we're going to focus on twins and triplets. The twins and triplets are pretty powerful, and uh, not only finding them, but using them to find other numbers, and I hope to illustrate that during this um, video. Um, we usually start out by going through all the sections, but this time I'm going to start out by just pointing out that I already know where some twins are. You see the 3, 6, 4 right here. You look at this square right here. We've got a 6 already, but we don't have a 3 and a 4 yet. And you notice that 3 can only fit here and because 3's can't fit here. And a 4 can only go here or here. So those are twins, 3, 4 twins. Now we can't solve those because there's no threes or fours in these rows or these columns so we can't do anything with them other than the fact that they're twins but one thing that that will do is tell us what these three numbers are so we've got a one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have a two five eight here as triplets these twins <clears throat> are only in one container they're only in this square uh, they're not in a single row or a single column because they're offset from each other <clears throat> excuse me but these triplets here are in two different containers in this square and in this in this row here so let's look at we have 2, 5, and 8 here. We can't solve any of them, but what that will do is let us know what these three numbers are. So we got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 7, and 9 along here. So we can try and solve any of those. 1, 7, 9, we don't see anything there. Here we got a 1 and a 7, so we know that's a 9. And we found that because we found out these are twins and these are triplets. Even though we can't solve these twins and triplets here, we were able to use them to find other numbers. Now this is a one, one or a seven, and this is a one or a seven. And so let's let's now go through sections. That kind of illustrates how we, to use twins and triplets to find other numbers. <clears throat> Let's just go through all the sections now. One, 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 one. one, one. You got a freebie here. This one's already filled in. Two. Two, any of these cells can be a two, 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 three, no three's there, three, 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 four, of course these are fours, we already found out about that, four, and any of those can be a four, any of these cells here, five, okay, so there's a five, 
Okay, now let's do ramifications. Five there, we know one of these is a five, because that's three and four. So one of these has to be a five, there's a five there. So we got five, five, five. Okay, can't find anything there. So you got five, five there, so that's a five. And a five, five there, and a five there, so that's a five. Okay, so now we've got we got a five here. Again, because we know these are three, four twins. And that helps us find this five here. Five, 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 five. So we've got all our fives now. Six. Yeah, six, six, six. 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 Well, there's a six. Okay, so that makes that a six. 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 Okay, seven. Seven, seven, seven. There's a seven. Okay. Seven. Seven. Okay. One thing we know because of double row elimination, there's a seven in one of these two cells and a seven in one of these three cells. And that's in row one and two of this section here. So we know that this or this is a seven. We know that because of double call or I mean double row elimination. Okay, eight. 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 Alright. Eight. 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 Okay, we got ghost eights here and ghost eights here. So eight there. Eight. So we know that one of these is an eight. And one of these is an eight. Oh, let's see. Yep. So we got an eight here. Ghost eights there. So one of these is an eight. We got ghost eights here. So we know that's an eight. So let's see, eight, eight, there's an eight there, eight, 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 so there's an eight, and nines, nine, 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 one of these is a nine, 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 one of these is a nine, and again by double column elimination in this case. We've got a 9 there, a 9 there. So one of these is a 9 in column 1 and 2. A 9 there and a 9 there. One of these is a 9 in column 1 and 2. So that eliminates those two columns. So that's a 9 right there. Okay. So we've got a 9, 9, 9 right there. And then one of these is a 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay, let's see, nine, 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 nine. And I think those are all the nines we can solve for now. Okay. Now, let's see, let's go through the sections one more time now that we've filled in some numbers. And we'll see if there's any more we can get. We'll do it a little faster this time. One, 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 oops. Sorry, one, 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 oops, one, 
one, one, one, one, one. Okay, two, we know these are two eight twins now because we found the five, two, two, two. Um, any of these can be a two. Two. This is a two here. So we got a two there. So one of these is a two. And two. And two. 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 Oh, two. Let's see, we've got only two places for a two in this square. Let's see if we can find the other one, the other number. Uh, there's a two, there's a nine there already, a five, eight, seven, five, eight, seven. So that, those are two seven twins right there. So that way we can solve this number here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a four. And this right here is the only number left in this column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a three. A three, three, three. Let's see if we can find any other numbers here. We've got fours, four, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four and seven there. Okay, two and three there. I'm sorry, two and seven there. Look for more ramifications here. Four, four. All right, let's see. We were working on the twos, right? So we've got two, two, two. Let's go threes. Three, three, three. Yeah, there's a three. Okay, and because of that three, now we know this is a four because these are three, four twins, right? Okay, so now we've got three, three, and one of these is a three. We've got a three there, so that's a three. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> so let's continue on. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Three, four, 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 uh, four, four, four. Okay, we know one of these is a four, so that gives us has our ghost fours there. Four, 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 and four, five. Got all our fives now. Six, six, six. So that means these are four, six twins right here. And we can't solve them, but let's see what that does. Let's see if that helps us. In this row here, we got four, six here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, eight here because these four six twins there's an eight there so one eight okay that helps us let's see one 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 so we've got a one there and one 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 there's only one left in this square or one row left where it needs a one 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 so there's a one there one 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 Okay, uh, we've got four six there. Let's see. So what are these here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's seven, eight at the top, so that's eight there. Now we've only got two numbers here that we're missing. And this right here is what we call a loner cell. Now we can solve it because we know these are twins, two eight twins, but I'm going to show you how to find a loner cell. You look along this row, because this is the only row outside of this this cell here that still has numbers missing in this square. So I just 
walk along this row and look look at each one of these. Let's see, 146, 146, so it's not one of those. 827, 827, so that's a 7. Okay. Now we've only got two numbers left. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 and 9. And we can't solve those yet. Can't solve the 2, 8 there or the 4, 6. Let's try the loner cell on this one right here. We got 739, 739, and 5151. 5, nope. This number right here and this number are exactly the same number. So those are identical twins. Okay. So whatever this number is, this is the same number. Now, we don't know what that number is yet, but one way to narrow it down is. Let's see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 4, and 6 missing this way, and 2, 4, 6 missing in this square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's look and see if we can find a, there's a 2, so that, that's a 4 or a 6. Okay, let's look at this number here. This is either a 2, 4, or 6. There's a 6 there, so it's a 2 or a 4. We know this is a 4 or a 6. So that means <clears throat> this can't be a 6 and this can't be a 2. So those are 4s because they're identical twins. Okay. Now that solves this right here because there are 4, 6 twins there. And what do we have left here? Two six. So that's a two and that's a six. Okay. We're coming along pretty nicely. <clears throat> We've got five numbers missing in this row, but we know we can eliminate three of them from these triplets right here. One, two, three, eight, nine, two, three, and eight. So that will tell us what these two numbers are, plus we can try and solve them, and there's 2 and 8 here, so that's a 3, and there's a 2, because there's an 8 there, and that's an 8. Um, we went ahead and filled those in, but if we couldn't solve these, we'd still know what these two numbers are because of those three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 and 9, there's a 6 there, that's 9 and 6. Okay, these were 3 and 9, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3 and 9, there's a 9 there, so that's 3 and 9. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? 4 and, one, two, four and 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 and 7, we still can't solve those. Let's look at this row here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2 and 7 are missing. And there's no 2 or 7 there. And there's a 7, so that's 2 and 7. And these were two 7 twins, so we know that's a 7. Okay, now these are 4 and 7. We've got a 7 there, so we know those, those now. What do we have here? 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 2 and 4, and there's a 2 there. Okay, these were 2 and 8. We just filled in a 2 there, so we know those. And we've only got one set of triplets here, which will be real easy to find. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 4, 8. There's a 2 and an 8, so that's a 4. There's a 4 and an 8 there, so that's a 2. And we know that's an 8. So there we, we have it. We've solved a diabolical puzzle, fairly difficult puzzle. And you could see, hopefully, that twins and triplets are very powerful. Not only do they help you find the numbers that belong to the twins and triplets, but they'll help you find other numbers, too, if you use them to your advantage. Thanks for watching. And go to sudokuprimer.com for more information.